Well, hello there. Isn't it a lovely Thursday? Yeah, I got it right. Anyway, um, I've been realising that uh, the reason that I, it appears that I'm looking down my nose at the camera is because I'm looking through the bottom half of my very focal glasses. So perhaps if I take off my glasses, that will stop me from looking down my nose at you. Uh, but I'm really not looking down my nose. It's just I'm looking through the bottom half of my glasses so I can see myself in the little tiny monitor that I have with this camera. Uh, it, yeah, you do need to see yourself as you're recording. Anyway, um, well, I've taken my car in to the garage to get the last of the optional extras fitted. Yeah, I went to town on the car, I know, I know. Um, but it's my first ever brand new car and it's probably going to be my last ever car um, simply because I'm getting to that age now where, you know, I'm, I'm 60, so this car should last me a good, good 10 years. And uh, by the time I get to 70, um, I might be pushing it. Although my dad did drive uh, until he was in his late 70s, and uh, that was a bit scary. So, yeah, maybe I'll give up driving before I get to a point where the passengers are scared. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on. So, yeah, the last of the accessories are going to be some of the brushed aluminium uh, boot details and uh, the side the, the door entries you know the door seal as you get into a car well you know you are going getting some door seal protection there just just in case of dirty footprints um it'll be easier to just brush it off rather than to uh, damage the paintwork if you know what i mean and um, what else am i getting um yeah as i told you you're probably aware that i am a keen camper so i take the Lady Sarah out camping and of course in the middle of a campsite at night it's dark so when you come back from the pub um, or you come back from shopping and it's dark still because you've been out it's, it's seeing, the, seeing what's in the back of your car is quite difficult so you've got to have a torch and you've got to fumble around in a boot so I'm getting boot lights fitted as well um, some of the luxury extras will be um, the illumination to the door as you open the car door to get in it was going to illuminate the floor now that's just stopped me from stepping in any puddles I suppose in the, in the dark and uh, I'm also getting passenger footwell lighting uh, fitted so these lighting will be underneath the drivers and the passenger front seat so that the passengers in the rear can see where their feet are going um, yeah my sister had that on one of the cars that she had um, but yeah, that's uh, that's another story. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so uh, hopefully they'll be finished uh, fixing my car by. I've got. They, they say to be there for quarter past five um, uh, to pick up the car. If they if they haven't phoned, it to be there by quarter past. Uh, I guess if they phone at quarter past, it's a bit late by then. Get anyway. anyway, so I'm gonna have to set off about a quarter to five. Uh, it didn't take me that long to get there this morning. It's, I think it's because the kids are off. Um, yeah, and, and it's Halloween tonight, isn't it? It's, it's uh, uh, yeah, the 31st of o October, and it's Thursday. Definitely, definitely got it right today. And uh, the kids are going to be out, aren't they? Halloweening tonight. It's, um, it, is, it is an American uh, tradition, isn't it, um, that's come over to the UK. Um, uh, and I suppose it is it is quite nice i do I do quite like seeing little tiny faces as they come in in their costumes um we had one one little uh, person turn up oh so cute in their in their costume it was uh, you know just unbelievable really it did it was made it all worthwhile seeing the little faces light up uh so we we lady Sarah has, has um decided this year that rather than having the kids stealing everything in one, you know, the first lot that turn up, take everything, she's um, she made up some little tiny bags uh, with a, a few sweets in each bag so that they can take those away. Um, yeah, it was quite disappointing when um, when we get to the end of the evening and all the sweets are gone and they're still knocking the door. So what we've learned in the, in the last couple of years is when you blow the candle out that's in the pumpkin... They stop knocking, so that will be 
a good tip to have if you have got your your pumpkin out and you just don't want people knocking on your door make sure you turn your lights off uh, and uh, make sure that the uh, pumpkin candle is turned off or blown out if it's a real candle yeah so anyway so tonight when the, when we've got the pumpkins out I shall take a picture Sarah's carved one and I've carved one and uh, I'll let you decide who carved whose <laughs> uh, anyway um, yeah so if you have uh, got any uh, pictures of your pumpkins you made I know the Americans go overboard and some of the pumpkins are carving that they do are absolutely phenomenal uh, I do like the pumpkins that, that use the internal seeds to, to spew out of the mouth I think those are quite dramatic but some of the pumpkins are so nice they really are amazing um, but anyway if you've done one um, you, there's, you'll find my email address in the uh, description uh, or in the about me bio so um, it's uh, you'll find it and you'll send me one send me a picture because I'd really like to see them um, yeah um, what else has been going on oh I've found out exactly why the the Dali had its crash so I shall be doing a video about that um, yeah and uh, anyway getting back to the cars uh, the uh, when I took my, the, my car in to get all these bits fitted that I was telling you about just now they gave me a replacement car now this is a manual gearbox and uh, it's not the not the addition that I've got that hasn't got the sunroof for a start but, um, but yeah, well, driving an, auto, uh, an automatic is so much easier. I really love the automatic. Um, uh, it does help because I've got my left knee has has been replaced. It's um, having having had that injury to my knee years ago, um, and having uh, it, it, I do find it a pain to change change gears, uh, especially on a long journey. Now, I'd had a, a hire car all the way down to uh, Falmouth once, and I had to change gear all the time. And that was uh, by the time I got there, I knew I'd been changing gears. Anyway, so uh, they've given me a manual car to drive. It's a uh, it's a bit it's a bit more difficult to drive actually. It's a uh, it is a bit clunky with the old gearbox. So I'm not I haven't driven a, a manual gear car for a long time, but. Um, yeah it's still a nice car but it's not the same as it was the automatic and um, <clears throat> ah, I'm going to sneeze <coughs> no, I do apologise uh, I'm outside it's not that cold I was shivering and yawning and uh, reach across get the old coffee um, yeah I just, like I say I've been, I've been suffering with hay fever funny time of year to suffer from hay fever I suppose but it could be, could, well, it could be the uh, anything really. I think it's probably it's um, mold spores in the atmosphere from the damp weather that we're having. Uh, yeah, so I've been taking antihistamines every morning, just looking to see if there's any birds. Um, the lady Sarah says that there's loads of of. Um, uh, goldfinches in the garden and I heard a bird the other day which made a funny sort of a, a, a blurp, blurping noise and then it then it went into a chattering noise so it's, it's you can get apps to identify these birds in your garden but it's expensive so um, I won't be getting that it's just 26 pounds a year for something that I might only use twice so it's, it's not something I'm going to get um, anyway the uh, the garden's looking well overgrown at the moment. Sarah hasn't been able to get out. She's uh, been suffering a bit. Um, we, we found... Um, I was out shopping with, with the lady Sarah the other day and, talk, and was talking about her pit, the, the nerve in her neck and how it's um, really causing her some difficulties. Um, and she's also got something going on with her feet, the, the underside of her feet beginning to hurt. Anyway, um, so what we, we said as we were walking around the supermarket we were looking at all the pain killing uh gels that you can get anyway we we saw one the cheapest one there it was a two pounds from asters i can't remember the name of any but it was an ibuprofen gel and uh, she's put that on her neck when we got home and boy has it made a difference to her life she says oh the pain's gone the pain's gone 
So she she's now relaxed a bit more. She's let her shoulders down, and you know, because she was tensed with the pain. So she's the pain's gone, and she's relaxed. And of course, it's now as as the the, the pain killing gels begin to wear off. Um, you know, uh, first thing in the morning after she's woken up, she's she said, "My neck's really good. I can I can start. I can look this way and look that way without having too much pain." Oh yeah. So uh, I'll I'll see if I can find the name of it. But the I uh, went into Morrison's. Uh, they also had an ibuprofen gel for about two pound twenty. So yeah, for 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 two quid, you can now get a little bit of pain relief. Um, so I might just do a whole video on that, uh, just because uh, I, I do know that people out there watching do suffer a little bit from uh, uh, aches and pains, as, as I do. Um, oh, I'm just, I'm just full of <laughs> aches and pains. Every oh, there's still a bee. There's a bee in my garden. Oh, it's um, it's rather cold, isn't it, for a bee? But he's out there. Um, I, I'm assuming it's a he. This is. Wow, it's got a real bright yellow head and a dark torso. I'll have to, I'll have to get um, a close-up and see if I can get a picture of that in a minute, if it's still out there when I come back. Um, but, yeah. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, oh yes, pain gel. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's um, for a couple of quid. I think it would last a, a good week, this tube, if you don't use it too often. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe a couple of weeks. So a pound a week, that's not too bad, is it? Um, you know, so anyway, so we've we got, well, I I, I got her a, a tube from Morrison's and she got herself a tube from Astor's. So we'll see how they go, if, the, if, if there's any difference. Um, yeah, what else is there? Oh yeah, I might have to pop out in a minute before, uh, before Sarah gets home from from work at two o'clock, I might just nip down to the shop and get myself a, uh, some more milk. We're running out of milk for the coffees. We definitely won't have enough for tomorrow, that's for sure. So I'll get that sorted out tonight. Um, but yeah, so that's about that wraps up my um, Thursday vlog today. So uh, if you are of a mind to, to send me a picture, it would be much appreciated. And uh, don't forget to mention uh, if if you can allow me to uh, do a little post. I might just do a video um, towards the weekend showing uh, your pumpkins to the world. If that's okay, I won't put your name and name or anything on it or your email address. Well, that will that will all strictest confidence, of course. So if you do send me one, I'll uh, just just say yes, you're okay to publish, and I'll go ahead and and. Uh, publish uh, but otherwise I'll keep it private uh, as you know me uh, anyway so I'm going to end this little blog and get on with the next one, see you then bye then, have a great Thursday enjoy pumpkin night uh, and uh, <laughs> let the kids trick or treat, you're too bad ok, see you then, bye <laughs>